In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, once again, good morning. Amo Marie-Louise Umumalarongo, greeting you and wishing you a very happy week we have started today. Brothers and sisters, we continue with the reading of the Bible. We just arrived to chapter 13 of the book of Genesis. This is Abraham and the Lord separate. May God bless us, my dear friends. Abraham went north out of Egypt to the southern part of Canaan with his wife and everything he owned and he owned and Lot went with him. Abraham was a very rich man with sheep, goats and cattle as well as steel as silver and gold. Then he left there and moved from place to place, going towards Bethel. He reached the place between Bethel and A, where he had compared camped before and he had built an altar. There he worshipped the Lord. Lord also had sheep, sheep, goats, and cattle as well as his own family and servants and so there was not enough pasture land for the two of them to stay together because they have too many animals so Quilos broke out between the men who took care of Abraham's animals and it was who took care of Lot's animals. At the time, the Canaanite the Canaan and the Perizzite were still living at, in the land. Then Abraham said to Lot, We are relatives, and your men and my men shouldn't be quarreling. So, Let's separate. Choose any part of the land you want. You go one way and I will go the other. Lot looked round and saw that the whole Jordan Valley all the way to Zoa had plenty of water like the, like the garden of the Lord's Lord or like the land of Egypt. This was before the Lord has destroyed the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lord chose the whole Jordan Valley for himself and moved away towards the east. That is how the two men parted. Abraham stayed in the land of Canaan and Lot stated, uh, settled among the cities in the valley and camped near Sodom, whose people were wicked 
and sinned against the Lord. Abraham moves to Hebron. After the Lord, uh, after Lot had left, the Lord said to Abraham, "From where you are, look carefully in all the directions. I'm going to give you and your descendants all the land that you see, and it will be yours forever." I am going to give you so many descendants that no one will be able to count them all. It would be as easy to count all this, the specks of dust on earth. Now go and look over the whole, the whole land because I'm going to give, to give it all to you. So Abraham moved his camp and settled near the sacred trees of Mamre at Hebron, and there he built an altar to the Lord. Abraham rescues Lot. Four kings Amra, uh, Amraphel of Babylonia, Ariosh of Elassar, Shedoriamor of Elam, and Tida of Gorim went to war against the five other kings Bela of, Sedo, Bera of Sodom, Bisha of Gomorrah. Shinab of Adma, Shemiba of Zebo, Zeboim, and the king of Bela or Zoar, or Zoar. These five kings had formed an alliance and joined the forces in the valley of Sidia, Sidim, which is now the Dead Sea. They had been under the control of Shadorame for for 12 years, but in the thir 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 13th year, they rebelled against him. In the fourth year, Shadorame and his arias came with the, their armies and defeated the Rephaim and in Ash Ashtelon, Kainaim, the Zuzim in Ham, in Ham, the Emim in the plain of Kiria, Kiriathaim, and, he, and the Holit in the mountain of Edom, pursuing them as far as a Elfaran on the edge of the desert. Then they turned around and came back to Kadesh, then known as an enemy first in Shepat. They conquered they conquered all the land of the Amalekites and defeated the Amorites who lived in the Ini, Hazazon Tamar. 
Then the king of Sodom, Gomorrah, uh, Sodom, Gomorrah, Adoma, Zeboim, and Bela drew up their armies for battle in the valley of Sidim and, for, and fought against, to, uh, against the king of Elam, Goim, Babylonia, and Elazar, five kings against four. The valley was full of tar pits, and when the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah tried to run away from the battle, they fell into the pits, but the other three kings escaped to the mountains. The four kings took everything in Sodom and Gomorrah, including the food, and went away. Lord Abraham's nephew was living in Sodom, so they took him and all his possessions. But a man escaped and reported all this to Abraham, the Hebrews, who was living near the sacred trees belonging to Mamre, the Amorites. Mamre and his brothers Eshkol and Ene were Abraham's allies. When Abraham heard that his nephew had been captured, he called together all the fighting men in his camp, 318 in all, and pursued the four kings all the, all the way to Dan. There he divided his men into, into groups, attacked the enemy by night, and defeated them. He chased them as far as Hoba, north of Damascus, and recovered the, lo the loot that has been taken. He also brought back his nephew Lot and his possessions together with the, the women and other prisoners. When Abraham came back from his victory over Shedoramir and the other kings, the king of Sodom went out to meet him in the valley of Shavei, also called the, the King's Valley, and Melchizedek, who was the king of Sarem, and also a priest of the Most High God, brought bre bread and wine to Abraham, blessed him, and said, May the Most High God, who made heaven and earth, bless Abraham. May the Most High God, who gave you victory over your enemies, be praised, be praised. And Abraham gave Melchizedek a tenth, a tenth, a tenth of all the, the root he had recovered. The king of Sodom said to Abraham, keep the root, but give me back all my people. Ibrahim answered, I solemnly swear before the Lord, the Most High God, maker of heaven and earth, that I will not keep anything of yours, not even a thread of sandal strap. Then you can never say, I am the one who made Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Ibrahim rich. I will take nothing for myself. I will accept only what my men have used. But let me allege an air, a skull, and a mamre take their share. The word of God. My brothers and sisters, I apologize because to read those names are so hard to me. It is too hard to me. Even in Kenyan Rwanda, it is hard to read, but in English, it is worse. 
for me i can say they have to say the names of the, those uh, mountains those uh, things those uh, areas because that happened uh, that is what i can tell you today it happened this is uh, not a dream this is something which happened in these areas but today it uh, it is for us now not for amrits or hazos tama no 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 for us today because we are the people of god may god bless you my dear friends in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm-hmm.